the American German Bulldog Nation. Welcome to Eric Dieters Local News. As always, we're sponsored by Dieters Consulting, Park Show. Go check us out on all of our platforms. And if you've never watched our news, sit back, relax, and enjoy. You're never going to see local news covered like this. All right, in our long crime section, there was a Kettering kidnap yesterday. They don't have any suspects. They've got a description. A young girl was out rollerblading when a potential kidnapper tried to kidnap her, and it didn't work. It failed. Thank goodness. Port Steves, this woman right here, Taylor DeBella, 23, and a 15-year-old little girl, she sent them up on the porch, were doing Port Stevery in Montgomery. They were going up to the porches and stealing stuff. Now, there's two ways to look at it. Number one, it's awful crime. Number two, how desperate can people be that they got to, you know, resort to this kind of stuff? I don't know what the facts are. But the bottom line, she's been stopped. All right, this guy right here, Monty Cecil, creepy S.O.B. How dare he wear a goatee and a bald look? Shaming the look forevermore. <laughs> 60 years old. That's why I had to shave my goatee. People like this destroyed the image. <laughs> Charged with 45 counts of child porn stuff, including rape. Why would we not want to put people like this to death? Don't get it. All right, the next guy up, Michael Van Alstein, FBI thief. He stole guns from storage, evidence rooms. What a monstrous, feeble farlet he was. All right, Tree Tops Grocery, firebombed up in Ohio while the owner was in the store. Must not have liked his prices. Inflation's causing these things, folks. Stealing. A couple's been going to have to plead guilty to, has pled guilty to stealing fifth third banking information. How would you like all your banking information stolen by some miscreant like Chris Weiss? All right, UC student hit and run. They've now got an arrest involving, uh, it's so sad, got, they got scared, but hit two people in a crosswalk and took off. Mm. All right, 30,000. This couple right here stole 30,000 from a booster club. Shame on them. Again, I hope they were desperate. I mean, I'm serious. It makes a difference to me. Were they desperate or were they buying yachts? But they too are monstrous, feeble varlets. All right, John Brock, tax evasion. He has pled guilty. All right, local news. Borough Foundations donated $1.3 million for some mental health and some hungry folks. Good for him. Kenny Chesney's going to play at the FCFQ Stadium. Three-year cruise canceled. This woman right here sold everything she had, bought a three-year cruise to live on, and then the cruise got canceled. <laughs> we would like to represent her. Please contact Drake Law. <laughs> Von Lehman and Company has sold to, well, that sold, are merging. They previously merged with a place over in Cincinnati. Now they're merging again with another accounting firm. John Yeager was laid to rest yesterday. I went to the visitation. I uh, spoke to his wife, Bonnie, son, Jason, uh, some workers. They built their home. Was a super guy, only 79 years old. May he rest in peace. John Yeager, now he's a businessman, country club kind of guy, right? He wrote a defense of me when I got arrested and thrown in jail fighting for the Durrani victims. And, uh, you know, not many people in his level did something like that for me, and he did it. Also, uh, in Kentucky news, health care shortage. You know, again, political Munchausen. They're all crying, we got a nurse shortage, health care worker shortage. You created it. Now they're all whining. Mac Brown, the chairman of the state Republican Party is stepping down. Of course, Mitch McConnell controlled him and Mitch McConnell will replace him with whoever. I don't give a damn. All right. In Ohio news, canine trainer in the fire, 17 dogs they were training were dead or de died. Terrible, terrible. And there was an explosion uh, in a hardware store in Hillsboro. Boom. One dead, a couple injured. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.